Hey everybody, it is GPG back here at the Wedge on the Ground Fox server. And you know what? I didn't do something I promised to do in the last episode. That's right. Do I have one in here? Yes, I do. Fantastical. Fantastical. You know what? I love this. I love that it was done in the spirit of Christmas, the holiday. I don't know. But it's got to go. It's got to go. This is not a part of the original architectural plans of the Wedge, the cultural center. So I have been hired to dispose of this. I wouldn't call it a monstrosity, but it certainly should not be here. I love you, Mavis. I love you, Wormuffin. But it got to go. Watch it burn. Watch it burn. <laughs> Aw. Really? Wool does... Wool in... My, oh, and it broke. And it broke. Oh, no. <laughs> it's on fire. Oh, is it going to make it all the way this time? Is it going to make it all the way? Oh, no. It's been burned. I should just leave it like this. <laughs> like, tragedy has struck the wedge. It's the great fire of Enton 2015. Someone save it. Someone save it all. I, I'm totally going to leave it like this if it decides to burn out. Oh, that is too funny. Oh, are you, are you done burning? Are you done burning? Are you just going to stay burned on the side there? Oh, I can hear it. Oh, no, it's, 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 <laughs> it's a tragedy. Anyways, I wanted to do that while I still remember to do that. I'm not sure what we'll do in today's episode, but once I figure that out, we'll do it. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And we got a, we got a sneaky guy right here. He's stealing our dirt. We can't allow that anymore. <laughs> give me your ender pearls. <laughs> Yar, give me your ender pearls. I don't know why I said it that way. I don't know why I said it that way. Where do ender pearls go? Normally they go in here, but we don't have any more room for them. Oh, you think I would have had all this figured out by now? I put these signs up, but nope. Still don't have it figured out. I was getting some lag spikes, so I went over to Bill's place. Over there. And there are no cows there. Well, there's three cows there. Not as many cows as normal. So it's kind of unusual that I'm experiencing some lag spikes. Mavis is on here. Don't tell her I did stuff, bad stuff to her star. I'd appreciate that. Uh, she'll find out. She'll find out. And she'll probably murder me. Because that's what she does, apparently. At least that's the word on the street. Based on her playthroughs with other people, she does enjoy killing things. Maybe a little too much. Maybe just a little too much. So we have to fill in these gaps here. So we've got gaps here because this is where that floor originally was. Uh, this floor is done-ish. I think this is a pretty good look color scheme. Um, I really like the spruce and the oak together. I had considered jungle wood, uh, maybe a little too pink for what I was going for. Uh, this could change, but I think for the most part, having this floor here is probably going to work out for us in the long run. Not sure. Oh, wait. I know I had that block there because I had to put torches down when I was putting the floor down. And so we got to figure out the lighting and stuff too. But uh, today we're going to work on this floor here. So every area I want to be unique. So like this is going to be the gift shop. This area, of course, is unique because it has uh, the aquarium and the squids and stuff like that. And, whoa, and I'm getting lag spikes. It's so weird. Mavis is not getting them at lag spikes. See? So I thought I'd go over there and murder the cows, but no murdering cows for me. I need just a food dispenser. I need to make one of those. Speaking of cows, let's go ahead and eat some steak. Mmm. I could go for a steak right now. So we're going to work on this floor. Um, this is up here is going to be the restaurant area of the, um, what are we calling this thing again? The Wedge Cultural Center. Um, 
So we're gonna need a lot of glass. And so what I'm using is pretty much the same idea here. So I've got, I think that's white and this is light gray so that the white stands out as the accent and then the light gray is just pretty transparent. It's the same thing we're using on these windows here. But I want this dining area to be unique so that when you go sit down, you see all the way through. All the way through. Plus, I really like uh, the architectural element uh, of these windows here, and so I wanted to kind of do that. I'll probably take care of those off camera. I really want to get to this floor today. Um, another thing that I did was is that I raised this up one. Not sure if I'm going to stick with that, or maybe what I'll do is kind of what I've done here is put some half slabs uh, kind of underneath there to help accent that from the floor a little bit. Uh, of course, we've been doing some other stuff off camera. Don't know exactly what else I've got going on. Well, we'll definitely need some more glass before we even go up there. Let's see. Glass. So we, oh, we got plenty of light gray. Got some white there. Wish these weren't stained. Um, let's take some materials enough to be dangerous. So like light gray and bone meal. Should do us some good. Should do us some good. So I hope you've had a good start to your 2015 so far. Uh, no complaints here. No complaints here. Just been trying to <laughs> need a jacket. Um, been just kind of keeping my head down. Trying to get some stuff knocked out of the park. Let's see, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this element once we get over here. You know what? We have enough to do this stuff while we're messing with all this. Let's see, so if you have not heard my good news, I guess I should just let the cat out of the bag, or the baby out of the bag, which is not the right phrase that I should be using, I guess, if I'm going to be a parent. Yeah, so I started recording a video blog series and I announced our good news. My wife and I are having a baby. Don't know what it's going to be yet. We've got a couple more weeks until that happens. But yeah, um, we've been trying and that has, so far has been a very uh, good experience. I uh, would say that my wife, she works with children every day. She loves babies. Uh, I can't say that I love babies. Um, I obviously wanted to have children at some point. We've been married for just over two years, and that's kind of what we discussed when we were talking about uh, starting a family, was that, you know, maybe we should... I'm going to do this. You know, maybe we should have a couple years together, and then we could really start trying to have our own family, or at least expand our family. And I think that if you can plan it that way, uh, in my experience, obviously, I think it's been really good so far. Uh, but it's definitely time, as uh, I'm not getting any younger, and neither is she, for us to, you know, start our family. So we are doing just that. And, uh, of course, that could possibly affect some of the stuff that happens in my life, like recording videos or even um, just doing things different in general. So, you know, that's been exciting. I appreciate all of the uh, the feedback that I've gotten from that so far. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys a little bit up to date with kind of how things are going. Uh, so far, she hasn't had any morning sickness, but she has been sick lately because uh, there was a bug going around the, uh, the place where she works. And so uh, we've been kind of dealing with that, or she's been really dealing with it more than I have. I think maybe there's a chance I could be getting sick, but I'm not sure. Man, we totally need more light stained, or light gray stained glass. That's easy for me to say. That's easy for me to say. But I really like that each place here has its own unique feature. So we'll keep that up. Okay, so 13 here. Could probably use another half stack of that glass, but uh, we've already gotten a ultrasound. We have got to see the baby. 
uh, in the early stages. It has grown so much more uh, than that first ultrasound, so we're really looking forward to um, seeing it again. Welcome back. And we got to hear the heartbeat, which is a surreal experience if you've never, if you've never, you know, experienced that. Um, yeah, it's very rapid. It's very fast. It's uh, not what I was expecting, I guess. I don't know, this being my first kid. I don't know what exactly I was expecting. Um, but that's been fun so far. And, of course, as the days get closer, uh, late June is when we're expecting. It's going to be um, kind of fun. Yeah, I really wonder if my squid are having an effect on that stuff. So yeah, this is the glass floor. This will be the dining area. I didn't think I did. But uh, this kind of goes along with this. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to do, I knew this didn't seem right, is I want to mimic that circle pattern over here. I'm hoping we can pull that off. I think we should be able to. This, I don't know how that's going to play into this, so we may actually need to get rid of these. But I wanted to mimic this pattern here. So let's see. I think we're directly below it. If we're not, that's my bad. That is my bad. So this could be solid as we branch out from here. you think by now I would know all these circle patterns, but I don't. I do not. Yeah, so... Um, I will do the exact same thing here. That way, everything kind of flows the same way. I think that's a good, a good plan of action. Yeah, so I guess I need to pick up all this. Let's see. That goes there. I think maybe... No, I want to get rid of these. That's right. So we'll do that. Don't let me forget about those blocks before they almost said expire, but that doesn't seem right. Hmm. Don't know. Dang it. So that goes like that, and of course we have the one that goes there. And can't tell if that's where that goes or not. I think it does, because this would line up with that. Yeah, it's a pretty simple circle. I mean, this is one of the least complicated ones. I think I just saw Mavis. I think I just saw a wild Mavis. I don't think she's probably seen anything that I've done for a while. So we'll see what she thinks. If she doesn't like it, we'll murder her. What is she doing? Is she going through my chest? Don't pick up my blocks. Ah! <laughs> uh. Hello. Oh, thanks. Now I'm going to be paranoid knowing if she actually picked all of them up or not. Hmm, let's see. This is super dark, and I actually have the ability to... S I don't know, maybe I just have... I think maybe I just have respiration. I thought maybe I had some other ways of doing that. But anyways, she's taking a look at everything. Hopefully she likes it. Hopefully she likes it. I might actually get rid of these posts now that I see this. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Maybe get rid of those. I don't know. Surely this is the right pattern, right? So this goes right here. Uh, maybe not. What are we standing on here? So this is 177. Let's go up here. 177. 
So that would be this one here. Hmm. Curious. So you get the idea. You kind of get the idea of what we're going for here. Uh, there'll be tables. There'll probably be a bar uh, back here. I'm going to get some villagers from Decca. Have kind of a bartender atmosphere up here. Of course, uh, the kitchen. Hmm, this might be my favorite wedge. Makes me happy. Uh, so this would be the kitchen area again. I might actually end up modifying some of this stuff here. Um, because, of course, you don't want to have like open air kitchen like this. But, you know, people could still come over here and do stuff. I thought maybe like a like a dance club or something over here. So you got the restaurant, you got the club, and then you got, uh, of course, the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, on top of this will be the art center with, like, banners and artwork and all sorts of other stuff. So I think I'm probably going to take a quick break here, do some stuff, come back, and kind of show off a bit. So once I get this all figured out and get rid of that Mavis. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I am back and I went ahead and replaced all the floors. Uh, of course, some of them look a little bit different than others. This one is looking okay. Went ahead and also put in the circle. And what I did, instead of doing the large circle, I based it off of the smaller circle. So that is what it looks like. Also, put this in there for a little bit of a piece of, you know, Class? I don't know. Not glass. Class with a C. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why it makes it any more classy than it already was. But yeah, so you can walk on it. I know that my tunnel freaks people out because, you know, when they walk on it, they're like, oh, this is freaking me out because they think they're going to fall. And I kind of want the same thing to go with this sort of bar in restaurant. Uh, let's see here. Added the glass railing there for the I'm going to call it basically a bridge because that's what it eventually becomes. Uh, added yellow and green uh, clay. I didn't want to make it look like a stoplight, so uh, I don't know. One of those might change. I really like the yellow. The red's just okay. The green, eh, we'll see. But I just wanted to add kind of a splash of color, something that you could actually see kind of evolve. This is a cultural center, so you know it's got to be somewhat artsy. Uh, let's see. I also added... Um, actually, that's something we can work on on camera. So I kind of put these columns back in. I knew I wasn't sure about those right when I left off, but of course we're kind of mimicking the crossbar on all that other stuff. Uh, of course using half slabs also allows there to be a little bit of architectural breathing room, which I like. Of course it's dark in some places, but we'll just have to live with that particular uh, aspect. There were some mobs in here. Uh, this wasn't lit up very well. I do plan on putting uh, some... I think I'm going to end up having to just to use glowstone. I guess I could use sea lanterns. But yeah, there's... There's... Bad guys in here somewhere. I think he's probably just floating around in that water. I'm not going to be surprised if that's the case. What did I come down here for? I don't know. You can kind of just see... Now there's different stacks now, which I like. It kind of breaks up that back area a little bit. I really, really like the impression you get when you walk in. Kind of this open architectural look. Of course, these being over here, you know, it doesn't help. Oh, let's get that back in there. Got to get that screenshot, you know. We got to always get the good one. I kind of thought about... Um, leading these posts all the way through, even up across the bridge, but they don't, they actually come out like in the middle of the bridge. It's just kind of awkward. I do need to figure these out as well. Sort of these, I'm going to call them portholes. Ugh, I don't know which wood or block, or I don't have any idea what I'm going to go with. Might end up just putting glass back in there for all I know. Where's he at? There he is. Now, can you shoot through here? I'm pretty sure you can. Let's draw our arrow. Mm, that didn't do it. There we go. I knew you could. Oh good, now we have a flaming arrow in the elevator. That's not going to cause any problems. So yeah, that's kind of just uh, architecturally what we've worked on in this episode. Mavis is still on. It's been maybe an hour or two. Just, oh, there she is. Right there. Let's go look at her. There she is. Mavis. So, anyways... I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed today's episode. 
Again, just trying to knock this out as fast as I can. Uh, next episode, I've got so much paper and a lot of leather. We're going to start putting those uh, bookshelves in for the bookstore downstairs, uh, even upstairs. We'll do that as well. Still kind of toying with the idea of having maybe a stairwell or something breaking that up. Okay, I it must just be a recording. I'm not recording in 60 frames per second. I have totally realized that these last couple episodes. I don't think I actually promised that. That was just a little test. Uh, I'm able to do it. It does take a little bit longer to render, but I'll have to get used to flipping back and forth between 60 frames and 30 frames or 29.97 that I use in my other videos. Um, so if you want to watch sort of the vlog, that link is still uh, probably in the description for you. Appreciate your guys' support, and until next time, this is JPG. Go play your games, and I'll be seeing ya.